Hello friends, welcome to Adhesh Academy. We all want to be happy in our life. But we don't know how to achieve happiness. So today we are going to tell you about the four steps on the path of happiness. If you take these four steps, then you can achieve happiness in your life. The first step is to know yourself. Knowing yourself is the greatest wisdom. However, most of the people ignore this concept. They believe that they already know themselves. But the fact is that most of us actually don't know ourselves. It happens because we don't spend time with ourselves. We consider it waste of time to think about ourselves because that does not give you any instant benefit. We rather spend our time knowing other people. So while other people know you, but you don't know yourself. You have a lot of illusion about yourself. And therefore, unless you know yourself accurately, you will not be able to know the world, the people. How do you know yourself? People often ask, how do I know myself? Spend some time with yourself and know what exactly you like. For example, you may be liking reading, writing, playing, talking, painting, anything. Have you spent some time with you to know what you like? In the same way, you also dislike many things. For example, you may hate meeting certain people. You may hate going to the parties. You may hate doing even reading. There are many things, my friend, which we really hate from the bottom of our heart. But we are not even aware of that. You should know what you really hate. In the same way, you should know what gives you joy, what gives you pain. You must know what are the type of people whom you like, what are the type of people whom you dislike. All these things, my friend, are very important to know. Because there are certain traits toward which we are attracted to and there are certain traits toward which we are put off. Our friends will generally have those traits which are attractive and our enemies or opponent will have those traits which we dislike. But we have never thought about it. We must know all these things and once you know all these things, you will know yourself. Because this is your typical nature. Nobody else in the world can tell you what you are. The second important thing is that we should acquire a true knowledge. Most of the knowledge which is available today from the internet, from the Facebook, from the WhatsApp, from the Quora or from anywhere is actually not a true knowledge. It is a perception of the person who is writing this article or posting such views. It's not the true knowledge. But unfortunately, we believe that. The true knowledge is only that knowledge which you have experienced yourself. It is like eating a mango. Just because you read about what it tastes by somebody else, it will not give you the true taste of mango unless you eat it yourself. And therefore, the true knowledge comes from within by your experience. So, whatever anybody say, unless you put that into practice and see the veracity and truthfulness of that knowledge, don't accept any such knowledge. And this knowledge is something which has to come from within and that is why the knowledgeable people are also called enlightened people because the true knowledge always comes from inside and this is what you have to attain. Whatever somebody say, practice it, follow it. Observe it and then you will understand what the true knowledge is. The third important point is that you must learn to act selflessly. What is selfless action? Selfless action is one which is done in the interest of the society, the country and done as a matter of duty, a righteousness, dharma. Not because something is benefiting you. If lying benefits you, you should not lie. But if lying benefits the entire society, maybe you should lie. If your work is for the benefit of the country, for the society, 
you must do it and not that it is benefiting you and harming other people. So your action should be devoid of the selfishness. There should not be any selfishness in your action. You must develop a wider vision and think about whether my actions are going to do good for the society or bad for the society. And if the answer is in affirmative that you are doing good for the society, then you must go ahead. Because the moment your selfishness is involved, your knowledge and your own perception become totally tainted. And when you are doing it selflessly, then only you can think in the neutral way. So remember that the third important thing is karma or the selfless action. And the fourth important thing my friend is having faith. You hear some stories, somebody has cheated somebody, somebody has done a fraud, somebody has cheated you and you lose faith over the entire human race. Some unfortunate incident has happened to you or with your loved one, you lose faith in God. Remember, faith is very important. Without faith, you cannot survive. Trust, bhakti, devotion, all are different forms of faith. And therefore, you should never lose faith on the people, on God, on yourself, particularly when there is a bad moment in your life. And if you can maintain faith, then you will be happy in your life. And finally, my friends, you should understand that this four things, knowing yourself, acquiring true knowledge, selfless action, and finally, development of faith are interconnected. When you know yourself, then only you can acquire true knowledge. And once you can acquire true knowledge, then only you can take selfless action because then only you can understand that the entire world is interconnected with each other. Only when you are doing your actions in a selfless manner, then only you can develop faith on the laws of nature, on the God, on yourself. If you are selfish, you will have no faith. A selfish person has no faith on anybody. And once you have faith, then you will know yourself even better because faith is coming from your soul. So all the four things which I discussed here are interconnected and they nourish each other. And once you follow them, a virtuous cycle starts and your happiness start multiplying. And this is the true path of happiness. So I hope that you have understood this lesson and understood that the path of happiness is going through four steps and that is knowing yourself, acquiring true knowledge, doing selfless action and developing faith. Thank you very much for watching the video. Keep watching the video and keep suggesting new topics. Thanks.